This is the Inspired Goals Workshop presented by Alicia Marie Fruin, a gifted speaker and business coach. It is presented by Profit Consulting Company and was recorded live. So let's talk about tips for writing goals, especially for those of you who have never written them. You want to make sure that your goal is something that you really, really want. Does this sound elementary? Do you know how often I see things on people's sheet like, I don't want to eat cheese, I won't eat cheese? Mm -hmm. well, what? <laughs> something you really, really want? <laughs> That's not what they really want. So um, make sure it's something you really want. We live in a culture of shoulds. Like she was saying, should set goals, Natasha was sharing earlier. We live in this whole world of shoulds. Your church is telling you what you should. Your books are telling you should. Your coach is telling you should. Your mentors, your teachers, your family. Did I say family? <laughs> you know, everyone has an idea of how it should be or what you should be up to. We live in, we're caught, and so that's why it's so difficult to get in touch with what it is for us. What do you, you know, what do we want here? Aside from all of that noise about what we should be up to, should do. Be suspicious. Be suspicious. Is, is, am I writing this down because I think I should? You want your goals to be aligned and not contradict each other. For example, just a business example. I want to have my business do $300,000 in revenue and I'd like for my income to be $420,000. If you have, if that's your revenue and you do not have other sources of income and it's not a goal to create other sources of income, you, that's easy to see how that's misaligned. I've also seen things like, well, spend nine months out of the year traveling to these countries and do something that would require them being at home. So it needs to be aligned. They, as you're writing your goals, it kind of goes together like puzzle pieces go together. It needs to make sense. Develop goals in several areas. Life is holographic. If you have a breakthrough in one particular area, it will domino into other areas of your life. Uh, one of the things that I work on a lot with my clients is if they're not exercising on a regular basis and they do start rec exercising on a regular basis, they always have a breakthrough <coughs> in their business. Always. Because I got them in action on an area where they knew they wanted to be and weren't. And so it will spill over. So make sure you have well-rounded goals in every area of your life. <coughs> Um, and the, you're going to notice there are clues that will come up as you're setting goals. Uh, there's, there will be kind of a theme to it. And just notice as it comes up for you. Um, we tend to go in cycles. Like one year might just be about learning how to not, you know, overreact or be dramatic about everything and, you know, stay peaceful. And another year might be about, you know, taking bold action. And so themes will show up for you. Think you're going to notice things as you're setting your goals. Because if we want something here, very likely it's related to what we think we're going to get somewhere else. Does that make sense? I haven't been. I don't know if I want to. <laughs> Can you say that again? I'm sorry. I saw if, you lips if, moving. I wasn't If you me. want something here, very likely whatever it is you think you'll get from having that, will carry over into the next area. It's, let's say, I want my relationship to be this way so I can feel this way. I want my business to look this way so I can feel this way. You'll notice that it's going to all start to kind of come together. And I just want you to notice that as you're writing your goals. Always state your goal in the positive. Say what you want, not what you don't want. Say exactly what you want not what you don't want. I see lose weight goals all the time. Where's the focus on that one? Lose weight. Lose or weight. Yeah, both of that. Mm -hmm. Thin or works? Yeah, thin. Become and, thinner, and, healthy, fit. And stay away from words like er, because it's referencing the past. Okay. So when you're declaring this, you're gonna actually state them in the present or the past tense. 
as you write these goals. You want your goals to feel out of reach. If it feels like pff, either it's a should goal or it's not big enough. Like you have no business putting it down or it's not big enough. One of the reasons we don't set goals is as we get clear about what we want, the gap, we start to feel the gap between where we are now and where we want to be. And we are afraid of that. So you start to feel the gap, you'll notice you'll get a, actually get a little nervous wherever you feel nervousness in your body. You're actually on track when that happens. That's what we're wanting to create, that, that kind of excited gap. Write them all down, look at them often. I hear reports all the time of, I wrote my goals down once, didn't look at them, looked at them, and they were all done. Great. Great. Play a bigger game next time. Okay? <laughs> you know, write down something totally outright. Just look at them all the time and have them inspire you. Be careful not to plan how you ob obtain the goal. So if what you really want is to be very physically fit, you want to write down what that looks like in the end. Not, I'm going to go to the gym three times a week. For me, it's, I want 2009, my model would be to live as a spiritual being having a physical manifestation as opposed to the other way around, which is how I have it. Awesome. Just because I fail at something doesn't make me a failure. I've never heard like, mm -hmm. it's an event. I've always taken it all on like, <laughs> there was something that didn't work out like I expected. It was yeah. such a big deal. Like, yeah. It doesn't make me a failure. No? Well, I'll say this, that for the last four years or so, I've been doing a lot of the goal setting stuff and it's pretty much been a waste of time. <laughs> and um, I don't know if it's this particular group or just where I am in my life, but I feel like all the stuff that I've written down here is gonna be, is gonna work out. In, in the past, I've just always tackled goal setting as more of an exercise, and okay, it's something you gotta do, something you got to try and focus on where you wanna be instead of making a lifestyle change to use it more of a roadmap to help you get where you wanna be. So. That's probably the biggest thing that I was able to take from it.